Hi guys! Well, it was a beautiful day here in the end times. But oh well. Here goes another beautiful day here on, uh, it is Saturday, October 2nd, 2022, and I'm sitting around waiting for this group of hip campers to show up. Uh, so I'm just out here ranting. So I was just over there listening in on that little eco-pussy over there uh, at Collat, oh, it's, did I say it's Saturday, October 2nd, 2022? So I was just over there listening in on that little eco-pussy Sam Mitchell over there at Collapse Chronicles ranting about uh, the fact that 42,000 fires, 42,000 fires, the were reported in the Amazon uh, in the month of September, the biggest number of fires in history. But since that little eco pussy already stole that story from me, I guess you can go over to Collapse Chronicles and listen to that. But at the end of that rant, he mentioned how there was one person on the, on a planet of 8 billion people uh, commenting on that story about those 42,000 fires. Little dog, where? Oh, there they are. Uh, so anyway, since I can't rant about that, uh, you, you know, sometimes, you know, when you're going through all of this doom and gloom, you know, down here in the doomosphere, over here in the mainstream media, a story will just pop out of nowhere, pop out of nowhere, that uh, every bit as much as the fact that there were 42,000 wildfires uh, in the Amazon fire forest uh, last month, virtually zero mention of it in uh, the mainstream media. Barely, I don't think it ever was mentioned in the mainstream media. It was barely mentioned on Manga Bay. Remember a couple of years ago when there were like half the, the number of fires down there in the Amazon and the mainstream media was going absolutely fucking ape shit over this fact. And now twice as many fires as that, not one mention of it. Uh, so, uh... You know, reading that shit and, 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 and all of the rest of the doom and gloom. And uh, in the middle of this, uh, oh yeah, there was uh, a total of one comment to that story about those Amazon wildfires by some guy named Humpty Dumpty. Uh, but we're going to look at another story right near that one that so far has racked up 280 comments as opposed to one comment about the 42,000 fires. This story getting 280 comments. As I am reading this, there are 137 people reading this story right now along with me. So we're going to uh, join these 136 other people, go over to Business Insider, and this is the single most honest headline I might have ever read in the mainstream media. Good for Business Insider. We finally have some honest reporting on an issue near and dear, well, literally near a lot of our hearts. This is Sam Tabariti. Sam Tabariti, and he is reviewing the new iPhone 14. Yes, I have had the new iPhone 14 for two weeks. I should have listened to Steve Jobs' daughter because I now 
regret buying it. Yes. <clears throat> Here is the takeaway. I bought, well, anyway, we're just gonna, you know, Business Insider, you can just read the three bullet takeaway, but we're going, I think this deserves the whole story. <clears throat> Take it away, Sam. For the past decade or so, I have been one of Apple's best customers. I have bought every single new iPhone since I made the switch from a BlackBerry to the iPhone 4. So he's bought the 4, the 5, the 6, the 7, the 8, the 9, the 10, the 11, the 12, the 13. He just bought his 11th iPhone in, I guess, 11 years, or has it been less than 11 years? I, I don't know if I have an iPhone or not. You know, I do have a smartphone. I have no fucking clue if it is an iPhone or what that other kind of, what's that other one? Anyway, the A one, the A phone. Uh, anyway, so this guy, I think that means he's bought 11 smartphones in a row. This year, yeah, so this year uh, has been no exception. I bought an iPhone 14 Pro Max, Pro Max 256 gigabyte in silver. He got him a silver phone the day after it was released on September 17th. I did get $640 back by trading in my iPhone 13 Pro Max, but I still had to cough up $780. So even with the $640 buyback for his one-year-old iPhone 13 Pro Max, he still thought it was worth $780 more dollars to upgrade from the 13 to the 14. But after a couple of weeks of playing with my new toy, I can confidently say there are no big surprises to be found in my new phone, apart from Dynamic Island. Dynamic Island is Apple's fancy name for the dead space. The dead space between the selfie camera and Face ID sensor now used the Face ID sensor now used for, quote, consolidating your notifications, alerts. Is there a, what's the difference between a notification and an alert? And activities into one interactive place. Dynamic Island. He paid $780 to go to Dynamic Island. My colleague Antonio Vilas Boas can tell you about the technical aspects of Apple's latest products, so I will just concentrate on what it's been like to use the goddamn little piece of fucking bullshit that I just pissed 780 fucking dollars down the fucking toilet. So I will just concentrate on that. Steve Jobs' daughter was right. Ultimately, Eve Jobs, her name I guess really is Eve Jobs, the daughter of Apple co-founder Steve Jobs, was right when she posted on Instagram that joked that the i14 is eerily similar to the previous model. Her uh, Eve Jobs' 
uh, Instagram message read, me upgrading from iPhone 13 to i14 to iPhone 14 after Apple's announcement today while showing a picture of a man holding up a shirt identical to the one he is wearing. Yes. While the newest series of smartphones has several new software features, I am disappointed that there is not more to the fucking piece of garbage. I admit, being a clueless fucking moron, I was shitting in my pants excited about the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max going full screen. Especially now that the notch is gone. The notch, along with my brain, has gone. I will also concede that the dynamic island feature is very cool indeed. I like that you can simply press it when listening to music and it takes you back to the application. Hmm. It could have been used more effectively, however. Yes, I like that I paid $780 so I can press the phone when I am listening to music and it takes me back to my application. Yes. But having had the iPhone 13 Pro Max, I can't see one fucking difference that makes it actually worth upgrading for, apart from Dynamic Island. Maybe the smartphone has simply got as good as it's fundamentally going to get? Or will another clueless fucking moron be born tomorrow? As W. C. Fields predicted. I always find excuses to justify myself splashing hundreds of dollars on a new smartphone, using my iPhone for work, documenting trips, ensuring the battery lasts all day and that it can support all the things I've got to do with it. Let's call that exactly what it is. Fucking bullshit. Actually, he used the word nonsense. The editors change it from fucking bullshit to nonsense. Even a now ancient iPhone 8 from way back in 2017 could do the job. However, there is an appeal to having the latest mobile phone, and that is nothing more than a way to brag to your clueless fucking moron, brainless, empty-headed, pathetic, spineless, limp dick, little friends. Apple CEO Tim Cook was asked last month by Vox if Apple would adopt RCS, a, ma a messaging app developed by Google for Android smartphones. Android, that's a, what I've got. So his mom could see the videos he sends her Cook told him to buy his mom an iPhone. It's not just an iPhone that Cook thinks everyone should own when there are also AirPods, iPads, Mac, MacBooks, and do not forget the Apple Watch for clueless fucking moron 
pathetic losers to buy as well. And yes, being a clueless fucking moron, pathetic loser, trying to prove to my friends that I do not have a limp dick, I do own all of those devices as well. Of course I do. While I have always said that I do not think I could switch from an iPhone to an Android, plenty of people have done so, and they have somehow survived. Maybe it's time I took an iOS Holiday 2? And we now, since I read that, we have gone from 280 comments to 282 comments. I love Tiny's response. To be honest, the upgrade from the 13 to the 14 is actually much more noticeable than the upgrade from the 12 to the 13, which was virtually the same phone. And L responds iPhone 12, 13, and 14, literally the same phone. Sorry. Here is my social worth in life can now be measured by an iPhone app. I have no idea what this means. Sam, you know, the, the guy who wrote this is the definition of a she-hip. A she-hip. There you go. This goes on. This is, this truly, here is, you could not give me that garbage for free. Good. Any, anyway, I've had a... Uh, Anybody wondering why this planet is fucked? You don't have to go to the to the fucking Amazon rainforest. You don't have to go to fucking Haiti. Uh, you just need to go to the fucking Apple store. The fact that there is one clueless fucking moron uh, on this planet buying the fucking iPhone 14. You know, we truly are a, 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 a bunch of fucking pathetic, we're just a bunch of fucking spineless, little pathetic, uh, just, just, just hopeless little fucks. One more time, I think it's been a while since I've given you my impression of the collapse of global industrial civilization. What will the collapse of global industrial civilization look like? I wish I had my smartphone on me, but I try not to ever take it out of the truck. But this is, this is the collapse of global industrial civilization day one. Huh?
Ah! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>